What's up everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day. I'm Anthony. On today's video, we are going to be continuing our conversation about knots. This one's going to be on the Alpine Butterfly Knot. So like I said in the intro, today's video, we are going to be doing the Butterfly Knot. Alpine butterfly knot, butterfly loop, or the lineman's loop, depending on which circle you may be going for or going through, they call it different things. Now, this is a fixed knot. One of my favorite reasons is because I can pull here and I can pull here and the knot is not going to loosen. So you can imagine there's probably many different uses you can think to have this knot for you. One of my favorites is absolutely for the trucker's hitch. It's my favorite knot period. So. This is the first part of a trucker hitch, which I will probably teach you the rest of the way in the next video. But for now, we're going to learn the butterfly loop, so stay tuned. Now when you're tying this, you don't need to worry about any ends of a rope. You basically are looking at the middle section of any kind of rope. So if you have a 200 foot long rope and you can't find the ends of it, don't worry about it. You can still make this knot. Essentially what you're going to want to do is you want to use your hand. I use the hand wrap method. There are other ways to do this, so I find this one to be the easiest. So. I take the rope around my hand and I go from bottom to top, all right? Just like that. Now I take the length that's behind my hand and I wrap it once more, okay? So we got two loops. Now I turn my hand like this. I grab the rope that was behind my hand and I cross over the front, essentially making an X. You see that? Now that I have my X, I'm going to take this loop that I made on top and I'm going to grab it and pull it down below the X. Now I'm going to reach behind that X and I'm going to grab the loop like so. Take that loop, pull my hand out holding the length of rope, the standing parts of the rope and pulling. By doing so that gives you your loop. Now, if you couldn't see all the angles because my arm's in the way, which happens a lot, then I'm going to do it on the ground just so you can see every single portion of it. First, you got to find out where you're going to want to tie your knot. Once you figure it out, you are going to wrap it from the bottom part of your hand to the top over the front. So there's one loop and make another one. There is two, one and two. Now you're going to rotate your hand 90 degrees and take that working end over the top and make an X. Now you grab that top loop, bring it down over the X. Hold it with your thumb, reach behind the X, and grab that loop and pull it up and through. When you pull it up and through, there is your alpine butterfly loop. You can pull inside the loop and nothing's going to come undone. And you can pull on the standing parts of the rope and nothing is going to slide. That is it. All right, so there you have it. That is how you do the alpine butterfly knot, butterfly loop, the lineman's loop, or whatever you want to call it in your special circle. But uh, this is one of those foundational, fundamental knots that if you are going to be doing any kind of outdoorsy hiking, uh, camping, even tying down stuff to a trailer, you should probably learn this stuff. Can you do all that stuff without knowing this knot? Of course you can, but why would you? doesn't make any sense making your life more difficult so just learn the basics and you won't have to worry about that stuff so if you have the opportunity go get you some 550 core some nylon rope some cellulose fiber doesn't matter twine even and go ahead and start practicing because it will only help you in your endeavors if you learned something from this video though please do me a humongous favor and give me that thumbs up it totally helps me out subscribe and i'll catch y'all later okay